so for today's video I'm going to make a quick video on the Kylie Cosmetic Holiday Box and this is how the box looks like by the way and as you guys can see it is quite huge and the design though I die like I think the packaging the design everything is so pretty I love it so much so yeah guys so for today's video I'm going to swatch everything inside this box so if you want to know what inside it please keep on watching so the box also came with this a big cut here and on the back it got all of the ingredients for each product and then they also came with uh, this card like they always send cards and this is how the card looks like so for the actual product itself I'm going to just slide this off like so this is how the box looks like and as you guys can see there is Kylie written all over it and I'm going to open it now so this is how the inside of the box looks like and all the products here is infused with real diamond powder and then as you guys can see there's 10 lip product here eight of them is matte liquid lipsticks and two of them is lip gloss they also came with a kai shadow and three cream eyeshadow they also came with eyeliner and gel eyeliner so i'm going to swatch everything inside this box and i'm going to swatch all the products on my lips but for the eyeshadow i'm going to swatch them on my arm so the first product that i'm going to swatch is this kai shadow this is how the box looks like and i'm going to open it for you guys so this is how the actual palette look like and this is how the inside looks like so as you can see there is a mirror here which is a new addition because the previous palette doesn't have a mirror so this is how the shade looks like and i'm going to swatch all of them on my arm after this and as you guys can see they are all cool tone shade which is not my cup of tea to be honest and i just don't see myself applying this on my eyes because i don't think cool tone shadow looks good on my skin tone so i much prefer the burgundy palette to be honest like this is the burgundy palette and as you guys can see they are all warm tones and i really really love um to put like pink and orange on my eyes that's why i much prefer this palette than uh, the holiday palette so i think i'm not going to use much of this palette i think this is will still be my to go palette from the collection i just love this shade so much and um both of them feel buttery creamy and everything they're all good formula wise but shade wise i prefer this one much more so yeah guys this is the arm swatches of the kai shadow holiday palette i don't know if you guys can see the first shade well because it's kind of similar with my skin tone but this one is in the shade sugar cookie frosty chestnut mittens a winter nutcracker gingerbread evergreen and lastly silent night so like I said just now guys, all of the shade does feel buttery and they glide on smoothly but not all of them are pigmented. The most pigmented one will be Frosty and Gingerbread. Like this two is my favorite shade out of this palette. This shade here is so so pigmented. I love it so much but the other color is just like meh, it's not that good especially this shade here this one is in the shade uh, winter like it is the least pigmented in this palette i hate it so much same goes with this color i love the color itself but not the formula at all like i think this palette is not that good to be honest like i don't recommend get you guys to get this palette it is not worth it in my opinion i just prefer like much more 100 percent much more prefer the burgundy palette like the shade here is beautiful same goes with the pigmentation um the only shade that i don't really love is this shade here which is naked but other than that i love this palette but uh, this one i don't recommend it and I just 
I don't like it and that is it that is just my opinion then inside this box they came with three cream eyeshadow I never tried any of the cream eyeshadow before so I don't know how the texture how it works how they feel I don't know any of that and then the first shade that I'm going to open and show you guys is in the shade yellow gold so this is how yellow gold look like so the next shade is camo I think that's how you pronounce it so this is how camo looks like and then the last shade is called golden plum this is how golden plum looks like so again i'm going to swatch all of this on my arm and i'm going to show you guys after this so yeah guys this is the arm swatches of the cream eyeshadow and this one is in the shade yellow gold camo and golden plum so like I said just now, I haven't tried them, like I haven't tried them on my eyes, so I don't know how they work, but when I was watching them, they feel so creamy, like, duh, they are cream eyeshadow, but they feel so creamy, and for me, it's kind of felt oily too, I don't know if I'm the only one who felt like that, but I, I know it's a weird way to interpret it, but it kind of feels oily for me, but nevertheless, they are still so pigmented, so I'm kind of excited to try them and then my favorite shade from the swatches i think would be camo like the second shade i love this shade so much i find that this shade is so like unique and it's hard to find so i'm really excited to try this and then i also like yellow gold i think this two is my favorite out of three of them and I'm so excited to try them because they seem promising because they are so pigmented. So yeah. For the next product, I'm going to talk about the eyeliner. And inside this book, they included their pencil liner and also their gel liner. And this brush is also included inside this book, but I haven't used these two, so I cannot comment about them. I don't know how they perform everything like that. But actually, both of these is in the same it is the same shade and they are in the shade snow and they are both it's just a white liner actually and i'm using this pencil liner right now and i'm using it on my waterline gonna get it and yeah guys it is quite good like it does stay quite long on my waterline but then again there's a lot of like drugstore eyeliner that's just as good and is much way much more cheaper and then for example like colourpop colourpop makes a good colour eyeliner and it's like what much much more cheaper than this so as a conclusion i think it is a good product but i don't recommend this because i think there's a lot more cheaper alternative out there which perform as good as this or much or much better actually I just, I don't think this is worth the price. So now let's dig in into the lip product. And it is actually my favorite part of this box. And I literally just bought this box because of the lip product. <laughs> so yeah, like I just said in the beginning of this video, this box includes 8 matte liquid lipsticks and 2 glosses. I actually haven't tried any of the glosses before. I'm not a gloss kind of girl i had anything glossy or creamy on my lips that's why i never try any of the glosses so I, yeah i'm kind of excited to try them and then i actually have already tried kylie cosmetic matte liquid music before this and i love them i don't have any problem with the formula it it does dry fast and it is a little bit drying than the huda beauty liquid lipstick but i don't think it is that over drying um and overall, I don't have any problem with the formula. I love them. And then I love the scent too. So yeah, I actually, I love the <laughs> matte liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to swatch all of this shade here on my lips at the end of this video. So please keep on watching if you guys want to see that. And for the gloss, um, yeah, I think they're okay. They are super opaque, by the way. You will see them on my lip swatches after this. They are so, so opaque. I think this naughty gloss can be wear on its own. But this jolly um, gloss cannot be used on its own because it is patchy. Like, 
the shade Vixen so you need at least need to use like a lip liner before you apply this my favorite one would be Coco K Candy K Pumpkin and then Angel I already own these three before this and I love them and then this is actually their new holiday shade and this one is in the shade angel and i'm wearing it right now and i really really love it it's a pink nude but it is uh more deeper like the shade is a bit more darker than the usual pink nude but i still love it i think it's so pretty and yeah guys i think that's what i'm going to say about this liquid lipsticks i do love them but formula wise i still prefer my huda beauty liquid lipsticks but then again the shade are different i there's shade i love inside this kylie cosmetic range there's love there's love there's shade that i love in the huda beauty too so i love both of them actually but formula wise just the formula wise i prefer the huda beauty because it's not so drying it's not that drying so yeah guys that's it for this video please keep on watching if you want to see all of these lip swatches on my lip see you guys on my next video and don't forget to click thumb up if you like this video and please subscribe if you guys haven't already bye